A very warm welcome to all of you. We will start now with the workshop. What this workshop is about is give you a short idea of what we at Co-Creation um, think about global governance and global governance design, especially co-creative global governance design. And we'll try out if it works to be creative, co-creative together on a very complex subject in this hybrid session. When I get asked about the methodology of Co-Creation Foundation, I would say we are trying to bring together our understanding about the codes, institutions and systems of governance. We'll try to change them with uh, the methodologies of design, innovation, creation, while looking at the personal, transpersonal and collective processes of people and groups. My name is Alistair, I'm from Co-Creation Foundation. I pick the lady with the red hair. Hello, I'm Tanya, I'm from the Social and Science Lab of the Max Planck Society. I take, we take this flower on. In order to make politics more co-creative, we need to design new governance processes, structures, methodologies. What I really hope to get out of this, to get a first feeling of what governance design might look like, how we can organize it, and also what the difficulties will be in doing this in these kind of hybrid settings. I would like you to take yourself some time and just think about what is for you the most relevant global governance actor at the moment. And I would like you to think how it feels for this entity to be at this moment in history and time. I'm the European uh, Union. I actually I feel torn apart, but I also feel super squeezed because I'm in a position of high pressure. Well, I'm the worldwide migration and I feel unable to cope with all the people who will move around um, in future. I'm um, the US government. I feel things are rushing around me and to keep up, I've uh, gone into a contracted mode of tunnel vision. So that was our short hybrid resonance training. You've chosen avatars. You have charged your avatars not only with your own personality, but also with the transpersonal entity you feel related to. And we have moved these entities into groups and I would like you to define what we call a design challenge. That is a how-to question. So please, as a group, discuss what potential you see in your group or what issues you have to resolve in your group and then create a sort of positive challenge you want to achieve. I will ask you to choose in each group one design tool and the one pattern of co-creation and work with these towards answering your design challenge. We worked on the question, how do we create zones of higher truth standards? And our group was composed of the, probably the most powerful nation states that there exist, global ravaging fear, 
And we worked on procedural design. So how do we get to these pockets? And the, the quality was identity and belonging. Okay. Power and disempowerment was a big part of our process. How can we like scale healing of trauma? For example, in Colombia alone, you have like hundreds of thousands of people that need access to like basic trauma healing. How can we code diversity and listening into existing communication platforms? And also the question, of course, like who governs the design of the code to how can we enable um, good choices? Context has to play a crucial role in, in designing how um, contracting and building a relationship within this context is necessary. We were a group of representing common households, uh, poor people, uh, the World Economic Forum and people migrating. We found a common topic. How can we organize wealth to ensure food security? I saw a glimpse of future today and that makes me very happy. I'm really wondering how this big tree can grow. What kind of other tools would be useful to bring the voices of people all across the world from the entire spectrum of, of socioeconomics and, and interests. This is a critical conversation and we often talk about the effects, which is the effects of the failure of this is climate change. Our allocation of resource to climate change is everything. Um, I see a, gr a great potential in this. I feel that as this reality of disrupted um, global travel, we have to figure out how to go very deep, very quick, and sort of break the scripts of design itself, of co-creation itself. I feel time is ticking for me every day. And I actually, I wonder what we do after tomorrow with the things that we have been talking about. I think together we can do much more, but when, how, and what exactly, um, I'm looking forward to continue that. I would like to thank the team and of course, thank everyone for attending and taking that much time, even though I know for these kind of uh, subjects um, that's obviously just a tiny, tiny little drop. I'm very grateful that all of you have been here. Have a good day, Mark, evening. <laughs>